Hello Knights fans, back for this week's edition of the FDU Men's Basketball Port here with Coach Greg Horenda. Coach, two days from now from the season opener at Rutgers, how excited is this team? I, I think we're real excited. I think it's the preseason of college basketball now is interminable. It's You start, you know, you go to summer school, then you come back in August, then you have September, October, November. So it's not like the old days you would practice on October 15th and then play somewhere early or late November. Uh, so, I mean, we're more than ready to play a game, you know, and I think we play a, a really good opponent, a real formidable, well-coached defense, big, long. They're very, very good. But nonetheless, we're excited. We're ready to go. Yeah, obviously familiar with Rutgers. This is your fifth straight season playing. Then you got the win there your first year. Yep. Last year the game got away from you a little bit, but they're a right. different team and you're a more mature team. Guys like Jaleel Jenkins, Elijah Williams have another year under their belt being in that right. building. And now you enter Xavier Malone, who's got experience being in yeah. uh, a bigger conference setting. So how much do you take away from last year's loss? I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but in terms of building on it for this year. I don't look back. You know, I have never have. I mean, whatever you did yesterday was only good for wrapping dead fish. And Hank Aaron said that. And he hit 755 home runs. So that's the, it's, it's our opening game. Uh, you know, Xavier Malone has really never played in a meaningful college basketball game. So, but he's been practicing really well. Uh, our young guys are going to have to step up. But, you know, you saw Kentucky's young guys step up last night. So it's uh, college basketball, again, it's not what it used to be. When you were a freshman, you came in the game and moved the ball and just were lucky to be out there. Now you have to kind of depend on freshmen. We don't. We're in that situation where we have three really good seniors. Uh, we've got a good junior in Caleb and, and then our, our sophomore guard. Uh, Jaleel Jenkins has been te battle tested, so we're experienced, but they're good and they're, you know, for us it's a great, great opportunity to play in a Big Ten arena to kind of figure out who we are quickly, but it's not who we're going to be in March, but it's, uh, it's exciting and I think we're, you know, we're ready for the challenge. I think uh, rebounding again in defense, as always, is going to be uh, pivotal especially against a, a Steve Peichel coach team, but we're excited and we're ready. Yeah, not to get too much into the strategy of it, but you mentioned that as a bigger team, does that affect your lineup at all, or do you want to just play your game and let it fall as it does? No, yeah, I think really when we play, I, I've never matched up against the other team. I, we have to play our game and have our best team on the floor that's been together for the, the last 60 days or so. And I, I think... Uh, they're not going to do the same thing. They're not going to go small because we're small. So I think it's 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 a good contrast of styles. But I think we're going to be a better rebounding team. I think we're going to be a better defensive team. Uh, I think it's going to be hard to match up with Jaleel Darnell and, and Xavier, are three very, very formidable perimeter players. So uh, uh, let's let them match up against us. Great. And yesterday, I know the team had some uh, some big guys here in the in the gym at practice. Two New Jersey legends, and Mike Corn and Kerry Kittles, guys yes. that have had NBA success, tremendous college careers. Talk about what they uh, told uh, spoke to to the team about. No, they just they're here all the time. They're, it's really, but I, th I think it was the first time they were here at the same time. They're both New Jersey net alumni legends. I mean, Kerry was a uh, the number one scorer in Villanova history. Kerry was a great, great NBA guard. Michael Korn was an unsung hero at North Carolina and in the NBA. And they're local New Jersey guys, so they come a bunch and they're friends of our program. So they just, they love our team and our team, I think just to see those, they're regular guys too. They're, they're, they're good people. So anytime, we had Coach Fratello last week, so we, we have a ton of people in this gym and I think it's just conducive to building a culture and, and getting people to believe that, guess what, man, if they can do it, why can't I? And, and that's, that's important for our guys just to see. So just their presence alone uh, is really important to, to our program, but especially to me, selfishly. I was a kid growing up when Mike uh, was a great player at Hudson Catholic, and I saw Kerry play when he was a kid at St. Augustine's in, in New Orleans, Louisiana. So it's, it's just great to see these guys come back and give back to the game and uh, we're, we're blessed to have good people around our program. 
I know you have a big practice here, so we'll let you go. But on this week's show, you're going to have Fred Hill, New Jersey coaching Another legend with Seton Hall. Yes. yes. Talk about what the fans should expect from this week's radio program. We're going to go down nostalgia lane, you know, and just go back through. We've had Tom Green on the show, but Freddie, you know, Tom coached him. Freddie found him, you know. So we're real excited about having Freddie back on campus. He and Tom and Dennis Gregory were at practice last week. Um, and now to have him on the show to get some old stories would be great. Freddie's a, a New Jersey jewel in basketball, and uh, I'm, I'm real happy to have him on the show. Great. Well, good luck this week. Great. Thank you, Brian. So the Knights will travel to the rack, Piscataway, New Jersey, to face off with the Rutgers Scarlet Knights on Friday night. That's a 7 o'clock tip-off. The game will be broadcast on Big Ten Plus, so if you're a Big Ten Network subscriber, you have access there. There will also be a free audio feed and live stats, which you can find those links at FDUnites.com.